All right, well, let me show you what my exhaust is looking like. I can see it in the rear view that um, I've got some smoky looking exhaust. Well, it could be dust. You'll see this trail behind me. Let me go ahead and flip around. I'm gonna help out real quick and take a look at what's coming out the tailpipe. Maybe I need to get my mixture a little bit leaner or, or a little bit thicker. All right, notice no smoke coming out of the thing. Looks like it's doing pretty good. Um, let's look. Actually, I see a little bit, but it's nothing like what I expected. It's actually burning pretty clean. Uh, so there you go, there's a great test. All right. Well, you can tell there's a, uh, a bit of a leak here in my bio crude container. Yeah, I can see it right there. We've got leaky crude oil down here in the bottom. You can see it pooling up right down underneath right there. So I'm going to have to look for that. But we're obviously producing a good amount of bio crude. Uh, oh, that thing's hot as can be. So let's go ahead and open this other one up. I've got a cap, we've been running on two, and I've been wondering if that's not the problem here for getting it going a little bit stronger, so we're going to open up all four. We're going to now try to run this on all four of those wide open. Alright, so here we go. made all the difference in the world folks all right I was starving for fuel it looks like I got plenty of airflow I'm just oh the idles way higher though well that's something I got I'm gonna have to adjust there folks it's uh, making my idle rev extremely high I don't know if you can hear that in the background but that's not normal for the truck um, so let me go ahead once again here we're gonna turn around we're just testing this thing back and forth between the place and the gate. The exhaust smells different. Uh, it's, uh, it's a little different than I'm used to. Man, we're doing pretty good here, folks. There we go. We're once again uh, cruising on this. What we're going to do is we're going to go up do another lap here if you'll stay with me. And then, uh, well, let's see. Okay. All right, it's working great. Those four open when you need the power, when you need the extra fuel, seems to be the way to go. That does match though, since the rest of it is two inch pipe and those four pipes equal two inches. So it's a matching airflow amount. All right, let's go down one more time here. We're going to shut it off and I'm going to show you live from this that we're actually still running on Syngas. Uh, that there's a... Uh, that's what's actually doing this. I'm kind of worried about shutting it down, but we're going to see if we get any back blasts here. It'll be a good test on the, the puff backs through the, the reactor. Um, so, uh, you can tell this is working great. I haven't had to make any real adjustments once I kind of got it going. I had to bend that just a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, so it's, I know that's that's all that I've had to do. So here we go. All right. All right, so let's put it in neutral here. All right, let's walk around real quick. <laughs> all right. Folks, that's awesome. That's, that's a truck right now running on the power of wood. And it's running great. Uh, our filters are obviously working pretty well. We're gonna do a test here in a moment and see just how well they're working. Folks, what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and let's go in and shut down this truck for you. There you go. Now let's watch this reactor. There should be some kind of smoke starting to come out of our reactor now that there's nothing going on. 
Oh, there you go. It's coming out of the pipes. So there we go, folks. I don't know how long it's good to keep that running without pulling through it. Um, I can hear liquids bubbling in there. Let's see if it'll start. All right. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. Well, you're going to catch that because I'm not going to edit it. <laughs> there we go. Hey, like I said, the idle's extremely high. Here we go. Let's go back out. All right. You can see this cloud of smoke still actually kind of puffing away there. There we are, folks. No smoke coming out of the pipes or out of the top reactor now. I don't have the aluminum full of water and it's it's not it's not hot but it's it's getting warmer. It's lukewarm right now, so having that water would sure help. I don't see anything coming out anywhere. I haven't seen any leaks. And here's the greatest thing is let me lift up my hood. And there we go, folks. That's running on synthetic gas. It's a higher idle than it normally runs on, so obviously the hydrogen content has uh, got a higher RPM than the uh, gasoline. So once again, we're, we're running through everything. Oh, that's cool to the touch. Hey, these are actually nice and cool to the touch. So there's no heat even getting this far. Yep, so we're doing good. We've been running for a little bit here. Let's see how long we can keep this going. Um, no, I don't want to break that seal yet. Everything seems to be working pretty well. Let's not mess with it. I had to open this valve up quite a bit and stick a, a blade in there, kind of a, a swirling blade. It, it's actually half closed. I'll show you what I did here in the other film. But it needed a lot more airflow than I thought it was going to need. But there it is, folks. Once again, Let's go ahead and just reach in. And then we can see here. Let's give it a second and see whether immediately. Look at that. Boom. That smoke's coming back out. Now that's highly flammable gases, really. And it's probably not safe to be doing this uh, without using up all the fuel. So I'm going to go ahead and you can see a, a bunch rolling out over the lip there at the top. Coming out of there everywhere again. Let's go ahead and start it up uh, from right here. Let's see how it does. <laughs> all right, that's great. That means all the work was worth it, folks. That that means that from now on, I get to drive to town anywhere I want to go. I'm still going to do a highway test, obviously, on this, but I'm going to give it a longevity test out here on the ranch for the next couple days. And just make sure there's nothing about it that I don't like. Uh, make sure it's running nice and strong. But there it is, folks. There's our system working. That was so worth it in the end. Once again for you, let me reach in. Turn this thing off and we'll see if the smoke comes back out of the top right here. Let's see how long that takes. Can we see the other pipe over there? And already there it is. So there's our smoke coming back out. Our reactor's definitely burning really well. I was starving for fuel though with uh, with only one of these open and then I went to two and then in the end I ended up opening all four of those pipes wide open. Uh, I wanted to just see starting at one see what we could do. Uh, so there you go let's start it back up if it's gonna do it for us. Oh, that's great. And there goes the smoke right back through our system. So there you go, folks. There's how, from top to bottom, how to make a gasifier truck. From our radiator system, which even this pipe is surprisingly cool. Um, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, where we'll do a highway test with our gasifier truck. This was Mr. Tesalonian and the Tesalonian Man Show.